Welcome to Mastery in the Making, a fresh new podcast by Le Cordon Bleu Australia. Join us as we deep dive into the minds of industry experts, entrepreneurs, and the voices of Le Cordon Bleu, the world's leading education provider in culinary arts and hospitality management. From expert lecturers to our incredible students and alumni, we'll uncover the secrets, stories, and skills that make this industry a world of endless possibilities. So, if you're a seasoned chef, aspiring hotelier, or simply want to keep your finger on the pulse, consider this your ultimate guide to culinary and business innovation. I'm your host, Stephanie Valudos, and welcome to Mastery in the Making. Today, we'll be speaking with a current Le Cordon Bleu student who is nearing completion of her master's degree here in Adelaide. Harpreet Talwa moved halfway across the globe to further her education and hasn't looked back since arriving from India. Welcome to the show, Harpreet. Thank you, Stephanie. So nice to have you here. I'm really excited to get stuck into your story and what life is like as an international student living here in Adelaide. And I I understand it's been quite the journey to get to where you are today. So how did you find yourself here in Australia? When I came to Australia for the first time, especially in Adelaide, I never thought that it was, um, you know, a strange country for me. People are so welcoming and they are so helpful here. So I never thought that, you know, I was going to a new country. But of course, when I look back and thought that when I applied for uh, uh, enrollment, I was thinking that, you know, how am I going to survive in Australia? But the moment I landed here in Adelaide, I felt so grateful. That's so Everyone nice. is so helpful here, yes, friendly. Yeah. Fantastic. So you're from Delhi originally. Yeah. You had studied a an undergraduate degree previously to coming here, obviously, because you're doing your master's mm-hmm. here. So so what did you study back home? I am master's in English, which I completed in 2005, 15 years ago. So uh, from there, I actually, I am from Delhi, but from last 15 years, I have been living in Oman. Oman is uh, next to Dubai. I don't know if how many people know where Oman is. So I, I was living in Muscat. I was air hostess there for uh, 15 years. And uh, being into hospitality for so long, I decided to excel in my career and uh, find a pathway where I can, you know, acquire some studies and uh, go ahead in future, you know, where I wanted to achieve my goal. So I decided during COVID when there was, you know, they were laying off a lot of people in COVID and uh, COVID came as a blessing in disguise for me, I would say. I decided to pursue my studies again after 15 years. So that was really exciting for me. I applied for uh, Le Cordon Bleu and uh, I got the enrollment as well. And then I waited for borders to open and see here I am now. Amazing. And what was the feeling like when you received that letter of offer from Le Cordon Bleu in Australia? Oh my Australia? God, I was all tears. <laughs> <laughs> I was so overwhelmed. I was so excited. But yeah, it's not easy to start your studies after 15 years, but now I can see that I can do it. Yeah, amazing. And so you basically just packed your bags, left behind the life that you knew and came to Adelaide. I actually did, yes. Amazing, yes. amazing. And you mentioned previously that you've got two little kids. So I do, yes. Yeah, they stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> it was not easy to leave them. You know, my husband and my kids stayed in Oman where, while I decided to come to Adelaide. And uh, leaving them behind was not a very easy easy decision for me. But yes, I gather myself, came here thinking about the future, what I'm going to get. Amazing. And talk to me a bit about the transition to Australia. What was that like for you? What were the challenges that you came across and and how did you kind of overcome that? Uh, When I landed in Australia, it was completely a different life here. There was a bit of cultural shock Coming from Delhi to Oman and seeing a different culture there and from Oman to Australia was entirely different. People they, people in Oman, they used to wear, they have a cultural constraints, like they, they wear different type of clothes. They have a different language. They have a diff- completely different culture. But here in Australia, people are open. People are friendly. You can speak to people freely. Yes, you can speak your th- thoughts out. And uh, I think so you can get a lot of help if you speak up. Yeah, I think that's the great thing about being in Australia is that people are 
so friendly, so welcoming. We're such a multicultural country where we accept people from all walks of life and and no one's a stranger. We're all friends. Um, so I guess that's exactly what you've that's experienced. Right. Yes, I know. See, just a small instance. In Oman, you cannot, a man would not look into the eyes of a woman there. Wow. Yeah, that's a culture. I really respect that. But here in Australia, though it is opposite, but it is overwhelming and it is, I think it's exciting that you can actually speak freely with everyone here. Yeah, how lovely. Um, and now you're doing the Master of International Hospitality Management program. You're about, you're almost complete. Yes, yes. I am doing so internship at the moment. Fantastic. How has that been for you? Oh, when I started here, the studies are completely different from what I had studied before in India. So it was too much literature, too much academic. You need to mug up a lot of things there. But here, the culture is completely different. In Lock Out and Blue, I have faced and I have seen that the class dynamics are completely different, where presentations are given more uh, importance here, speak up in the class, and there are group discussions. And they would not want you to mug up things, but you remember a lot of things. Fantastic. So, and your work placement, uh, your industry placement, rather, you're doing that at Ridges, is that correct? Uh, Ridges is a part of the group. So EVT is the group. Uh, it's event hospitality. I am taking care of three hotels at the moment, the Terrace Hotel, Hotel Motel and Hotel Alba. So all three are placed on uh, South Terrace. Beautiful. And what sort of things have you been able to experience while on your placement? I am at the moment a uh, front office team leader. So I'm taking care of the GSAs who are working under me, taking care of the guests, their complaints, and making sure that they get the best day of their life. Yeah. So if they come to us, they should actually be comfortable. And when they leave, they should be happy. Fantastic. So getting a pretty well-rounded experience in hospitality. No Definitely. Doubt. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. What's life like in Adelaide? I guess now that you've settled, you've been here for a couple of years now. How have you found it? Have you made new friends? Do you have a certain gym that you go to and, and that kind of thing? As a student, life can be challenging when you first come to Adelaide. Yeah, there are a lot of I know that there are 70,000 students who are studying in Adelaide and out of 20,000, it's only international students. Wow. So life can be a little challenging for them finding accommodation Though it's beautiful, the air is clean, it's greenery everywhere and uh, um, beaches are at your arm's length. So it's a, that is kind of exciting and it's uh, it's very nice. But at the same time, if you are finding accommodation which is far, little far from the city, you may find little challenges in terms of transportation because we, I don't think so that Adelaide is that developed where you can find the trams everywhere. But yes, it is well connected with buses. Yes, and I guess the thing I love most about being in Adelaide is everything is so close. Close, yes. Ten minutes here, <laughs> ten minutes there. The city and the sea basically is basically, connected. Yes, yeah, it's connected, we are very yes. lucky in Australia. That's, for that's sure. true, especially in Adelaide. <laughs> yes, that's not the case in Sydney and Melbourne, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just going back to your work placement, what are some of the solid skills that you think you might be able to take with you um, once you graduate, which is not that far away? I'm definitely looking forward to have a very solid future in what I'm doing at the moment. Leadership skills and people management is very important here. Even if you're not a boss, you're not a leader, but managing people in the team is can it, it can be challenging because you are dealing with different cultures here. People are from very different background. So I think so people management is something which I'm going to take it forward. Fantastic. And after graduation, what does the future hold for you? I know your your family is now here in Adelaide. Do you see yourself staying in Adelaide? Do you want to go back home? What What do you think? Um, I have not decided if I'm going to stay in Adelaide, though I would love to. But again, my horizon is open at the moment. I would like to, I believe in continued learning every time. So I'm open for learning. I am open for excelling myself further. So I would want to be a perfect person for myself and for my employees. Employees. So wherever I find a good opportunity, whether back in Dubai, Oman or India, I may go there. If I find a good opportunity here in Adelaide, I would stay here. Beautiful. And I guess the master's program that you have studied in particular here in Adelaide 
it really would open your career up to any leadership role, whether you want to become a general manager at a hotel or, you know, uh, even a sales and marketing manager. It really does. That's what my future is actually. I was thinking to go to sales and marketing where I know that I can talk a lot. Sometimes I really do talk a lot. But yes, I think that's a skill which I would like to acquire. And I think that I'm good at it. Fantastic. And as an international student who's now been in Adelaide for a couple of years now, what would be your advice to someone who might be back home in Delhi or Oman who might be thinking of coming to Australia to study? What's what's the best advice that you could give them? Um, I know that uh, when you decide to go to a different whole new country, there are a lot of things you are you might be you know thinking a lot. I know that there are students who are who have just passed 18 and they want to come here to study and someone who is just 21 wants to do masters. Uh, At the same time, I know that you will be feeling lonely. They will be homesick, definitely. So you need to hold on to yourself. You need to, if you need any help, you need to ask for it. You have to be open with people. If you want to make friends, there are a lot of opportunities to make new friends here. So you will be by yourself. You need to take care of yourself. And uh, of course, this life is not going to come back. This age is not going to come back. So make most of it. Yeah, do it while you can, I say. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Harpreet, for joining me today. That's That's it from us. Thank you so very much for having me. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Mastery in the Making. If you found this discussion interesting and inspiring, don't forget to share, subscribe or tell a friend. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.